Nine-year-old Sheila Sheldon can draw anything she sets her heart and mind to. She started to make the most of her gift at the age of five. Mostly I liked drawing cut cartoons because they, they are my favorite things. Sometimes I even draw food. Um, sometimes like anything that I could, have, I could, I could see there, it's just God given. I learned through YouTube. Sometimes I go and see what I should draw there. Wenge wa mini kama ni yeye anafanya, mpaka ukuje venyewe uku hapa umekuta kifanya. But her artistry and personal life has had its share of financial struggle. Her mother, a security officer, found it and often finds it difficult to afford the best painting materials. To solve this, she began to paint portraits of prominent personalities, one by one by one, until her big break came when she painted President Uhuru Kenyatta. I should draw the, the president of Kenya because... Mm -hmm. I knew that he loves children. Mm -hmm. I drew him because I knew that he can change the life of our entire family. And he did. Absolutely wonderful. For the president, the portrait took two weeks because I was so patient on it. But the others, I usually take one week to do our person. Not only is she a painter, but an orator and a poet, and also a fashion designer. Intelligence plus character. Intelligence plus character. That is the goal of a true Kenyan. Kenya is a country in East Africa, and it lies on the equator. The president of Kenya is called His Excellency Honorable Huru Megai Kenyatta the chief commander of our defense forces. But today, I am here to give you a name, President Onye, <laughs> meaning the fighter of our nation. Long live President Onye. Thank you. Well done. The more time and materials she uses, the more her paintings will cost, from 3,000 shillings to 30,000 shillings. Not everyone appreciates the real value of her work and may want to pay less for it. Still, she paints, knowing well that the artist must do the work, make something that matters, regardless of anything else that is going on. For those children who have their talents, don't give up, no matter what happens. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV.